Hello, everyone. This is Angela with Ava Art. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to do an experiment. Um, I recently became introduced to GAC 500, um, GAC 500 by Golden. Uh, a lot of pouring artists like me, we are very used to pouring with uh, GAC 800 by Golden, which reduces crazing and sometimes gives you a smooth uh, a pour and also a very glossy finish. So I was curious what GAC 500 does. And what it says here on the label is gloss extender for fluid acrylic colors. 100% acrylic medium with a unique balance of hardness and flexibility, offering increased mar resistance and decreased tack. So um, I was just curious, I read a little bit more on it on Golden's website and it seems like it would be perfectly fine to be used as a pouring medium. So today what I'm going to do as an experiment, uh, no guarantees, <laughs> but there will be a, a hopefully a fun pour at the end of all of this. I am going to take three uh, repurposed canvases. I just, uh, these had an old pour on it and so I threw some gesso and sanded it. So they're a little bit rough, but they should be good for an experiment. And using, uh, to make things consistent, I decided to stick with one brand of paint. So I'm just using Artist Loft, three of my favorite colors, um, uh, silver, blue, cer cerulean blue, and white. Um, and of course, Artist Loft Black. I'm convinced that this is absolutely the best black on the market for the money. Um, it's inexpensive. It, it has the most beautiful uh, gloss finish when it dries and it creates amazing, uh, interesting cells and lacing. So we can talk about this more later. But here is my uh, array of what I'm going to paint. I'm going to do a simple backdrop, excuse me, base with um, the Artist Loft White in a one to one ratio, excuse me, one to two ratio paint to Floetrol. And then what I've done is I've mixed three sets of colors. So let me move these first. Hopefully there'll be a fun pour at the end of all of this for you to watch on those three canvases. Um, what I've done is I've uh, poured my three colors, not including the base, which I will put directly on the canvas, in this set. And I'm going to set these here in an area that I've written on my cardboard, 100% flow trawl. And then my next set, same colors in about the same amount, about a quarter cup of each color. Uh, again, these are right out of the jar. They've not been mixed whatsoever. They're pretty, pretty fluid. They each have their own consistency, but I um, hope you can see that. We've got the silver, black, and cerulean blue. And I'm going to put that here. I've written Floetrol and GAC 500, so I won't forget. And then last but not least, same thing, a set of three cups that I'm going to be mixing with the GAC 800. Now, my ratios are, for uh, my normal pouring, I always use 70% uh, Floetrol, not always, sometimes I mix it up, but for the most part, 70% Floetrol to 30% GAC 800. It seems to give me a nice thick result with a nice glossy finish and to a certain degree reduces crazing. Not always, but for the most part it does. So that's going to be mixed into this group. This group here I'm going to mix uh, with the same ratio, 70% GAC 500 excuse me, 30% uh, GAC 500 to 70% Floetrol. So I've already got that pre-mixed and ready to go. Um, last but not least, I'm going to do with this set of cups here, I'm gonna do just plain Floetrol, 100% mixed into this group to see if we can see a difference between these three agents. So with that said, let me get my paints mixed up. And let's pull.
Okay, now that all of my paints are mixed, I noticed something interesting. Um, the GAC, as many of you know, mixed with Floetrol is a beautiful, thick, creamy result in consistency, but it's relatively thin. Thinner, I think you might say. And I noticed with the GAC 500, it stayed thicker. So that's a good thing if you like to pour um, ribbons and uh, straight pours and you want them a little bit, your paint's a little bit thicker. So that might be a little bit too thick, but we're going to stick with the uh, experiment and go with it. Um, and just for comparison, the flow trawl is also very, very thick. I added no water or any other medium to this. I never use silicone in my paints. And you can see that my flow trawl is only mix is very, very thick. So we'll see how that turns out. Normally I would add a little tad of water, but I don't want to skew our results here. So I'm going to stick with that. All right. So now we're going to add our base. And I'm going to do it the very, very fun way, which is my hands. All right, guys, here goes. Okay, I let these sit for about a minute, maybe two minutes, and already you can start to see some differences. Um, the GAC 800 came out really fast. I ran it off the side of the um, canvas there a little bit, and um, I lost my black in there. And we're getting a little bit of reaction, um, so we'll see what happens when we tilt this. The uh, just plain flow trawl is beautiful. You can see we're getting some reaction. The paints are mixing nicely. Um, we'll see how the metallic works out with this mix, but you're seeing some really pretty cells 
in this area and some really pretty um, color mixes happening, some shapes that are holding. But wow, look at the GAC 500. That is really, really reacting. Um, all kinds of interesting cells happening. Seems like it's mostly happening with the black. So let's give these a torch and a tilt and see what happens.
Okay, here we are with the wet results. Um, it's been about five minutes. I let them sit and develop a little bit. Wow, they're all really, really beautiful. Um, testament to just using simple colors uh, can really create some dynamic um, looks and compositions. But I'll just take you through these. Um, the first one is our float trawl, pure 100% float trawl. And you can see the colors stayed separate. We got a little bit of lacing in here. We got some unique greens and almost um, bronzy color here, golden color. Um, the black kind of disappeared, but it's definitely in there intermingling with the paints. Uh, really pretty, a little tiny bit of, of small selling, which is not my favorite, but um, what I do like about this is just the composition is absolutely beautiful. Looks like a rivulet with a mountain scene and a dark sky in the background. So this is really beautiful and I love the way the blue uh, really stood strong in this piece. Second, we have our experimental GAC 500 and we were very uh, at least I was very excited about this when we first poured it because it looked like it was going to have a lot of reaction. Um, all of those unique cells that we stretched a bit really did stay together. There's a little bit of lacing. I think I would need to work with the recipe a little bit more to see if I could uh, capitalize a little bit more on those cells. I mean look at those really really pretty. Uh, you can see all the depth of color in there. Um, and uh, overall, very, very pretty composition. I will say the thickness of this, it literally tilted about maybe one, one, two, three, four, five, maybe six times, and then it just stopped. So this is a paint extender. It's gonna be very interesting to see how long it takes for this one to dry, but overall, it's not moving at all, and uh, I like the composition. And last but not least, tried and true our flood flow trawl with GAC 800. Sorry about the glare there. Um, as you can see the black pretty much disappeared. There's a little bit in the corners and it added some unique uh, shadowing here. Lots of beautiful kind of galaxy um, cells. Really really pretty uh, flowing almost like a ribbon pour. The composition's really nice. All of the uh, the silver and blue, they stayed very, very true to themselves. They didn't mix too much. Got a little bit of green, as you can see, which is actually quite lovely. Um, this piece is still moving a little bit. You might be able to see. I will be very tempted to kind of play with this um, after the video to see what else comes up. But for the most part, very, very beautiful um, GAC 800 and the flow trawl. I think we're gonna see a lot more cells popping up. Um, as you can see in that corner, maybe you can't. The glare's a little bit high. So, there you have it. An experiment with three very beautiful results, all a little bit different. Um, I'm gonna probably work on these a little bit uh, off camera, but I hope that you've enjoyed this comparison of GHC 800. GAC 500 and just pure flow trawl and I would love to hear in the comments which one of these you like the best. Alright, thank you so much for being here. Please come again. Bye!